Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 11 of the Adobe Animate tutorial series. Today we're going to look at how to add in different types of keyframes inside of Adobe Animate. So in order to add keyframes, there are, you got to know that there are three types of keyframes inside of Adobe Animate. One is the motion tween um, keyframe, one is the shape tween, and one is the classic tween. So classic tween is actually an old method of creating uh, keyframes over here. So to do that, what I want to do is I'm going to create a shape just like this. And then over here, let's say in about frame 20, I'm going to right click and I'm going to insert um, a, key, uh, a key frame just like this. So you can see that I have a key frame right here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this shape over here somewhere onto the side just like this. And you can see that I, I have my timeline over here and if I were to pull my timeline cursor over here at the front, you can see that my spear is in a certain position and over here it is in a certain position. So now once I set the keyframe like this, I can simply right click and I'm going to say create classic tween. So what it does is it will create a classic animation tween just like this. And this has been uh, how we set keyframes in the traditional flash. Uh, but nowadays you you can do something called something more than that so I'm just going to disable that and another type of tween that we have is shape tween so for example now we have a shape over here let's say for example I want to change the shape so, so I'm going to resize the shape over here on the keyframe just like this all right resize the keyframe and over here in the beginning I got this shape and over here I got this shape so I'm going to right click and I'm going to say create shape tween. So what it does is it'll actually create a shape tween of the animation right there, just like that. So that is how animation actually works. So uh, a shape tween is actually used for shape animation just like this. So let me go backwards just like this. And right here um, in the center, I'm going to move this out, remove the frame right here. And over here, I'm going to create a motion tween. So over here, I'm going to right click and I'm going to create a motion tween or I'm going to right click over here and create a motion tween. So what this does is it actually creates a modern type of a, um, uh, uh, keyframes. You don't, do not need to add in any keyframes to do that. So I'm just going to move the shape over here and I'm going to move the shape over here. And you can see a path animation like structure like you would see in After Effects or Premiere Pro. So what you can do with the path animation as well is you can actually change the shape of the path animation over here. Let's say click and drag this, uh, click and drag over here, and then click and drag it just like this. And you can see that you have a sort of a path animation just like that. So you can see that uh, this is modern type of keyframe and this is uh, what motion tween is all about. So usually I have a motion tween in comparison to classic tween right there. If you're familiar with, uh, want to stick to the old method, then classic tween is there for you. So usually I like to do my animations this way. So after I have my animation, I can also convert it into frame by frame animation as well. So what I can do is I can select all these like uh, keyframes like this, right click on it and convert to frame by frame animation. So what it does is it creates individual frames with the type of animation uh, that, I, that I actually applied. So I can actually do individual frame movements over here just like this. So uh, this is how you add in keyframes inside of Adobe Animate. And we also discuss about the type of keyframes, the three type of keyframes uh, that we can be that can be used in Adobe Animate. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.